Spacecraft are exceptionally complex and expensive machines that send back large amounts of diagnostic information in the form of telemetry channels. These channels detail contextual factors such as power, temperature, radiation, voltages, and CPU statistics, and the amount of data being returned is increasing with improvements in technology. Given the harsh environment of space and the difficulty of repairs, monitoring the health of spacecraft through these channels is extremely important and can be challenging using existing methods. To address these challenges, we employ a type of recurrent neural network, long short-term memory networks, or LSTMs, along with a unique error thresholding approach that is non-parametric, dynamic, and unsupervised. Encoded command information and prior telemetry data are fed to LSTM models to learn normal channel behavior, and then the models are used to predict future values. Where those predictions deviate from true values, anomalies are flagged. This allows us to use a single algorithmic approach for thousands of telemetry channels. For our experiments, we collected anomaly reports filed by engineers during two missions, SMAP, which is an Earth-orbiting satellite used to measure soil moisture, and Mars Science Laboratory rover, Curiosity, which has been on Mars since 2012. We ran our anomaly detection system over an extended time window around each anomaly to test whether our approach could have detected it and to get a sense of the rate of false positives generated. For example, this is a stream of telemetry containing an anomaly that wouldn't be detectable using a threshold. If we zoom in on the anomaly, we can see the channel briefly flatlined, resulting in poor prediction accuracy. Below we can see the error plot showing the spike in error where the prediction was poor. To determine the actual level of error that constitutes an anomaly, we use a greedy algorithm to find a threshold that, if you remove the errors above, would result in the largest decrease in mean and standard deviation of the errors, and is penalized by the amount of data above the threshold. Ultimately, this method proved to be up to the task, and we captured over 80% of anomalies tested with high precision. This work has been implemented into a pilot system for SMAP, and is being used in other scenarios such as spacecraft failure analysis and anomaly detection in mission test beds. Beyond spacecraft, this work has applications in many scenarios that involve multivariate sensor data. If we can better detect anomalies in flight and simulation, we can mitigate risk of future missions and help ensure their success.